appreciate that. And I'm rocking with y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Live Hour YouTube's premiere, premiere, the premiere cream of the crop, off the clock, appliance repair talk for off the clock appliance repair text. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's show. Tonight's show is about building your confidence, okay? That's a little bit later on in the show. <clears throat> I want to tell you guys about a little story. You guys can hear me, right? Audio is good. Audio is good. Let me get a thumbs up if audio is good. I can get a thumbs up if the audio is good. Oh, God. What's happening now? Can y'all hear my audio? All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, all right. Thank you, Greg B, and thank you, Scat. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, tonight's episode is about how to build your confidence, okay? Guys, it's going to be a great show, all right? You're going to love it. Tonight's show um, came from an inspiration from me, and, and again, that's going to be later on in the show tonight, but it came from me being asked by a, a, a hotel. It's a hotel that I run. And, uh, well, I do their appliances. And um, they asked me, do I service Manitowoc ice machines? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be real with y'all. Mm. I service ice machines, but I don't service them. So I haven't done the repair yet. And I was like, man, I never did one of those. So I had a little, not jitters, but a little bit of doubt. And I said, you know what? This is a great topic to help the new guy or gal who's getting into the industry who needs that motivation, that little bit of confidence. They're going out to that first job, or maybe they don't do a particular line of service. Like maybe they don't do refrigerators and they're going to do their first one. We all got the jitters and even... As senior techs, we all get the jitters. But before we get into tonight's show about how to build your confidence, a couple of things I want to um, get into. Let me get out of this screen. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all all good? All right, let's get into some. Let's pay the bills real quick, guys. Okay, we got to pay the bills. All right. Um, Guys, uh. December 9th and 10th, okay, we have in a virtual and a hands-on uh, schematic and wiring diagram 16-hour uh, course, okay? It's a two-hour crash course on just everything schematic reading. Now, I'm speaking to these ears. Do you know how to read schematics? Do you know how to troubleshoot from the board? Do you know what ohms are? Volts, resistance. Do you know what a series circuit is? A parallel circuit. Do you know how to troubleshoot using a schematic? Well, if you don't, ladies and gentlemen, again, December 9th and 10th, we doing a virtual um we doing a virtual, uh, 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 you know, in a hands-on schematic training. Brother Rick and I, shout out to my brother Rick. Brother Rick, if you're watching this, I love you, my God. What's good? You know what I'm saying? So, again, that's December 9th through 10th. 
All right. Now we're going to get into some industry news, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get into industry news, it's a lot of people tapping in. So as the host that I am, let me give everybody their shout outs. I know the vibes. Oh, if y'all want to join tonight, I'm going to open it up tonight. I'm feeling good, you know what I mean? Let's get the guys on here. Y'all want to y'all want to show up on TV t- or on YouTube tonight? Go ahead and hit me up. How you do this? All right, bear with me. Boom. Boom. There you go. If y'all want to tap into tonight's show, there's the link. Go ahead. All right, let's read some comments tonight. <clears throat> Magic, what's good? Project Pata, you know the vibes. <laughs> uh, Boogie Down, yeah, what's good, Bianca? Man, that's a good friend. She's always welcome. Thank you, Bianca. Great person. Who run it? Who run it? You know the vibes. Uh, Kevin, what's good, Kevin? Trinity, what's good? Greg B, what's, what's the vibes? Scat, what's good, Scat? TMM, my confidence is through the roof. Word, that's what's up. Here at TMM Appliance Network, we give you the tools to succeed. All right? What's good, all, all Zoo? All right, all right. So we all caught up with, uh, with, uh, with the uh, comments. Guys, let's get into uh, industry news. You got to love industry news. Tonight's industry news, you're going to love it. It's going to be about this warranty company. This article came across my desk yesterday. Let's go ahead and bring up the article. Okay, bear with me, y'all. Share screen. Let's do complete care warranty. And wait, let's remove this screen here. Bear with me. I'm my own controller tonight. On mute. How about? And then let's turn the volume down here. There you go. How y'all hear me now? Y'all can hear me now. Y'all can hear me now. How's my audio? How's my audio now? Can y'all hear me now? Mic check. Mic check. Let me get a thumbs up if y'all can hear me. All right, all right, all right, we back, we back. Apologies, y'all. When y'all, when y'all do the the switching and the TV, and you know you you swap screens, you know you you run into these technical difficulties. But I got YouTube's premier audience tapped in, so I, I know I can't go wrong with with a group like y'all. All right, so let's get back to this, y'all. So look, they're talking about pros and cons, guys. I I do warranty calls, and typically when I do my warranty calls. 
like let's say I'll do a warranty for um, any one of these manufacturers. They typically give like 30 days. Like say I'll do a, a warranty for like American Home Shield, Pro Connect or something like that. They're going to give me, the customer like a 30 day. I, I, I want to say 30 days. I believe that's what it is. But apparently this, this company offer 90 days. That, that could work in their favor because it gives the customer more guarantee, more, more, more confidence, more, you know, more security. But for us, you know, that just extends our warranty if we decide to sign up with this company to rather 30 days to 90 days. So that's something to think about. Another thing, this is a con. My bad, y'all said these lights is beaming on me, so it's, it's I'm sweating. Uh, Cons is not available in California. Now, th let's talk about this, though. Uh, High-end. High-end brands such as Sub-Zero, Viking, and Wolf are limited to 1,000 in total coverage. I like that number. I like that number. You know what? And, 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 and even though it's a con, here on the on the screen for me it's a pro and I'm gonna tell you why because at least I know that they willing to pay up to that much. So if I got like a defrost bar metal or or a drain or an evaporator fan motor, not saying I'm gonna run them up a thousand. You know I'm not gonna run the warranty up a thousand. I'm not gonna charge them that, but. I know that they're not in the game to I know that they're not playing games. They 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 willing to spend some money. Now, if I get there and I see it's a sealed system and you know it got issues and whoop de woo, y'all yeah, probably just be like, yeah, that that thousand dollars ain't gonna cover this this type of repair. And then you know, I'll probably just get on the phone with the company and tell them, look, you know, I I, I recline, I'll decline to do this uh, repair because it's gonna cost too much. But they'll probably approve it if it's a sub zero or Viking. But still, that thousand dollars, I like it because it lets me know that they're willing to pay. And once I know that, you know, then we could do business. All right, the service call fee is forty nine. I don't know about that one. That 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 forty nine. You gotta entice me, man. I don't know how long these people take to pay. What if what if they charge? What if I collect forty nine from the customer, but the parts is two hundred and thirty dollars? That means that I gotta take out of the two thirty fifty from the customer, and the rest I gotta come up with. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I do like that they point out that the industry average is seventy seven dollars and thirteen cents. So that if you're working for warranty companies. That this is a good standard right here. Again, y'all, if y'all just joining, thank y'all for tapping in this this article. We welcome to another industry of uh, another uh, segment of industry news. This article is brought to you by Market Watch. Again, if you're just joining us, we're talking about complete care home warranty. All right, going through some of these pros and these cons. All right. All right, so uh, let, let's go through some more stuff. They got a, they got a, this is pretty good. They got a, a better business bureau rating of B. No, not too bad, not too shabby. 21 years in business. Guys, I'm a firm believer that the game always will expose you. You know what I mean? Like, if you come with shenanigans or whatever, They'll run you out. So 21 years in business and you a B rating. I ain't gonna say I I, I seen I seen worse, but I ain't gonna say I seen better. It's, it's not too shabby. All right. They, they're available in 49 states. Again, I'm sorry for the California brothers. You know what I'm saying? And again, this information is as accurate of November 2021. Again, these are some other services, like say uh I, I know some of you guys. Do like TV mountain, garage door, stuff like that, AC. Some of you guys do plumbing, heating. These are just some of the additional uh, services. So if you do appliance repair, you know, it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? All right. This is their plans. This is their plans, their monthly plans. Let's say they get the cream of the crop, $50. 
how much they're going to pay in a year. 600. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. They're going to pay more if they, you know, they pay out of pocket. All right, so, you know, that that's, uh, again, that's this company. You know, if you want to read more about the article, they, they, they mentioned some other warranty companies here. Some of the shirt, this I like. I like that. I don't like them. I don't like them $45 service coffee. You see, look at American Home Show, y'all. When you're going to step to a, a technician to, to do business and you give them those numbers and then these guys call you and they tell you this, where's that service call fee? Yeah, that's no good. That's no good, champ. That's not a good service call fee, at least for us. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like, I like American Home Shield. Look how much they doing. Hold on. Look at that. American Home Shield, they doing the 75 to 125. You see what I'm saying? Like these warranties is paying good uh service call fees, but then you come down here. And you got these guys like, oh, hell no, $29. Who the hell is this? Oh, hell no. Oh, I definitely would never work with y'all. If they call me, I'll just hang up. Look at that. Jesus. Carlito. Carlito says, I love working for AHS. Does anybody work with this company here? American's First Choice Home Club? That's twenty nine dollars. That's pretty shabby. Anybody work with these guys? If you do, please put it in the uh, put it in the in the in the in the in the comment section. If you ever heard of this company here, twenty nine dollar service fee. That's that's low. All right, and then you got these guys down here, forty four, fifty four. Yeah, I, I I'll probably stay up here with these guys. With AHS, AHS Choice, I probably, I probably be it. Let me see. I got some other ones. I, I don't use all these. All right. Oh boy, talk about it, Carlito. Talk about it. I got a, I got a uh, interview with a guy that works for Choice. He's gonna do an interview exposing them. Man, I heard some things that were scary. All right, so let's let's finish up industry news, guys. Let's finish up industry news. Okay, so again, if you want to find out more about these guys, uh, let me give you their website. Put it in the uh, link here. Hold on, I'm looking for their website. Where is their website? We'll do it like this. I'm sorry, guys. I should have had this information. All right, we'll go website. Again, if you want to give them a call, let me give you their number here. So if you're interested and you want to deal with them, here's the, uh, here's the number, all right? All right, there I go. All right, so let's remove this from the stream. All right. All right, so we got industry news out the way. Again, complete care, uh, home warranty. I never heard of them, but I know some guys always looking for extra income. Guys always looking for ways to add, you know, different marketing strategies. Check them out. Let me come tap back into the channel and let us know how it is. All right, let's move into our next segment, to talk. Oh, wait, let's read some comments. Hold on, how the comments is looking. Thank y'all for, you know, always keeping me, being my ears and my eyes. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, King K. Charged up. What's the vibes, big homie? Christian. E, what's good, E? Michael, what's up, man? All right. 
Kenneth says, one of those top three company owe me thousands of dollars. Let's see who those companies were. Top three. He says top three. I want to see who he's talking about. Thousands of dollars. So it could only be American Home Shield Choice. It got to be Choice. On everything, it got to be Choice. That's the one. That's what he's... I don't know that brother, but I'm sure that's what he's talking about. I got a great interview, guys, with a guy that used to work with Choice. Man, he's going to spill the beans about how they do us. Oh, man, this they, they do us filthy. Um, Carlito says, same here. Amazon home warranty doesn't pay. Really? Wow. Christian. Christian, we, 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 we gonna, we do like weekly, not really four, three or four weeks. And they're different subjects by the week, by the month. That is choice. Yeah, I figured that, man. See that, guys? This go back to my argument, man, about having your, your name clean in the game, you know? Look, I'm not perfect, man. I want this this day to go down on record, man. Like, I'm not a clean background individual. I got skeletons in my closet, you know? But things 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when I was a young man, things I'm not proud of today. But that's my personal life. In your business life, Anything you do could come back and haunt you, man. And you see how everybody talks about choice like that? That's not good, man. When when your name is so muddy like that, you know? It's not good, man. Scott says choice off top. All right. Carlito says I'm excited. Greg B. Now, Greg, you know, <laughs> you're the devil's advocate because I've heard the same thing, too. I've heard people that said they get paid from them, but that's few compared to what I, I hear that don't get paid. But I hear that, man. I hear you, Greg. Yo, Greg, thanks for tapping in, bro. Uh, he says Amazon don't pay. Amazon be calling me too, but they want to send me to like Key West. Like imagine like two hours away from wherever you at, like stuff like that. I'm not dealing with that. All right, y'all, let's get into the tool talk tonight. Guys, tonight we're going to be talking about testing relays from the board, all right? Guys, check out this, this camera angle. I worked hard for this. Hold on. Y'all going to be proud of me. Look at this. Ah, check that out. Y'all see that? Uh, let, me, let me get this all situated because we're going to get into tool talk now, and we're going to talk about... Uh, I didn't finish my review on this VDC generator here. We got to talk about uh, how to test relays on the board, all right? So let's get into that. Bear with me. Tool talk. Let me remove this one from the screen. Boom. All right. Now we live. All right. <clears throat> all right, guys. So if y'all enjoying tonight's episode, please hit the like. Please hit the like. Please hit the like. You know what I'm saying? If y'all enjoying tonight's show, please hit the like. Again, welcome to another episode of Tool Talk. All right, so look, guys, relays. Relays on the board, all right? Bear with me as I, I get my little setup here. You know what I mean? Trying to give give the audience YouTube's premiere. Bear with me. Bear with me. You know what I'm saying? Bear with me. Get my equipment all set up. All right. How's my audio? Y'all can hear me? Y'all can hear me? I'm on a new screen. Anytime I, tr I switch screens, I get nervous. Y'all can hear me? Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. Oh, shit. We got a mic check. Can y'all hear me? All right, cool. So again, guys, welcome to uh, tonight's episode of uh, Tool Talk. We're going to be reviewing this VDC generator. And again, if you didn't um, attend 
uh, last week's, oh, I'm sorry, last two weeks live hours. I did a black a Thanksgiving edition where I went over this this uh, voltage generator here. You know what I'm saying? This uh, voltage and current signal generator VDC. You know, and I and, and I and I demonstrated how it can be a power so, a source supply for like evaporator fans, condenser fans. But I wanna I wanna um let me remove this banner. I wanna talk about like uh testing these guys, the relays. These guys here, these little relays. How y'all like in the, the, this uh this this camera view? Is it good? Uh y'all can see everything. All right. So look. Here's a relay on the board. You know, we in the field. We're going to do a live board repair. All right, so look. First thing we got to do is look at the, the, the like, the schematics or, or, or the nomenclature, like, the details to this relay. So let's look this information up online, and I'm going to show you all what to look for. Bear with me. Let's go Add to screen. Let's go. Uh, screen share. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. And then let's go NTC code. Y'all need this for like, uh, oops, what happened here? Oh, hold on, y'all, yeah, my bad. I'm going to pull up the schematic to this relay for y'all. Everybody can hear me, right? Audio's good, everything? All right, screen share, share screen, boom, share, and let's go here. All right, what is it doing there? Oh, I got to open up another window. My bad, y'all. I'm messing up on this. Again, it's live, y'all. Y'all seeing all the behind the scenes stuff. Share screen, boom. Entire screen, boom. Let's go here and then let's go here. All right, now we got it. All right, cool, guys. Go to down, get this website here. If you ever want to figure out like the nomenclature on any component that you're dealing with, use this website. You heard right there, boom. You go there, right? Let's go back to screen share. Let's go here. And then you put in the part number for the um relay. And it's located on here. Damn, the lighting is horrible. I can't see this. Let me use my phone. Bear with me, y'all. You on the relay itself, it's it's the num it's the number. I should have had this brought up. G S O dash one four. Is that GSZ? No, GSQ. My bad. My bad, y'all. Hold on. Y'all gonna like this. Y'all, when y'all see this, it's all gonna be worth it. Dash 4A4. Let's see what's good. Oh, y'all with the nonsense. I'm trying to give y'all 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 props. Let me try this number. Two five nine four. My bad, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm looking up the um the relay part so I could show y'all the schematics. Two five nine four C five. Oh man, y'all with the shenanigans. All right, y'all. This live, so let me let me try another alternative source. GSQ. Let's just do it like this. Dash 14. Is that a 14? No, that's one A4. My bad. I think so. All right. Oh, y'all making me look bad. Guys, I'm sorry. So you know what? I'm just going to do it live in the field. Screw it. We'll do it like this. My bad, y'all. Let's add that to the stream. Let's remove this. Let's remove that. All right, so look, y'all. This relay, 
I'm gonna do my best to explain this. I don't have the 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 schematic, right? So I'm gonna do my best interpretation of this. I should have had it downloaded. How many this has? One, two, three, four. And it has two here, one here, one here. All right, y'all. So look, y'all see this? What y'all gonna have here is a coil, right? And when y'all apply this DC voltage on this coil, it's gonna be a switch here. And this switch is either gonna open or close. And I'm gonna show y'all what I mean by that. So first thing we wanna do is let's turn on our voltmeter. Let's put it on ohms. Let's go this, all right. Let's get this, put it here. And let's get this and we put it here. Again, if I would have had the, the diagram, this would have made more sense, but this is what you wanna do. All right, what I did was in, in in correlation, I went right here and right here on the relay. You know what I'm saying? And then these two here, let me get this round up right there. This guy here and this guy here, this is where I'm gonna apply my 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 um this is where I'm gonna apply my VDC. So again, here's the relay, I'm trying to give y'all a good okay. So this pin here and this pin here, these two is where I'm gonna apply my, my VDC, which is gonna close the switch here, all right? I hope that, let, let, let me demonstrate that to y'all. That's gonna make more sense. So again, here's what it looks like on the board. Here's what it looks like when you desolder it off. You, you, gotta, you gotta get you one of these. You know what I'm saying? A desoldering iron. One that could go up to at least 850. You know what I'm saying, but I'll show you that another day. So you come here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up our voltmeter on ohms. Make sure we got ohms. All right, y'all hear that? We good? All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here. I'm gonna show y'all this. We're gonna come here. And if y'all notice this relay, it ain't giving us no no content no continuity. No continuity. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our VDC generator. Well, first let's hook it up. <clears throat> this is how we're gonna check this relay. <coughs> What's good, y'all? Y'all enjoying tonight's show? Go ahead and hit the like button. All right, so look, notice that my vote meter ain't got no, ain't got no, no, um, no, um, continuity. Now watch this. I'm gonna turn it on. Now I got five volts VDC. Watch, watch as I near seven or eight. Watch what happens. Y'all see how that, that, that switch closed? That switch in here closed. And now watch what happens when I remove the, the voltage. Again, here's the relay, y'all. Cause there, can everybody see my demonstration? What's good, YouTube? Y'all know I get on my, 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 my nonsense. What's good, YouTube? I need I need communication. Can anybody can anybody see my um does everybody understand what I'm trying to relay here? Guys, everybody, does, does there any questions about what I'm trying to say? Again, here's the relay, y'all. Let me, let me do this demonstration one more time. <clears throat> here's the relay, y'all. Again, I'm nervous, you know, because when I... When I go deep in the conversation and then y'all say no audio, like I gotta come and say it all over again. So again, one more time. Here's the relay. You got one. Damn, I wanna try to get a good background to, to, to highlight this on. All right, that, that looks kind of all right. Hold on, y'all, this, this, all right. One, two, Three, 
four. That's your four pins. This is where the coil is, from here to here. Remember that coil? It's right here. And there go your switch that opens and closes. This is what the relay look like on the board. Remember this two $300 board? Say hello to the $3 relay, all right? The piece that goes back. So we're going to check it now. We're going to go across that coil. I mean, uh, uh, we're going to get our voltmeter and we're going to go across here and here. All right, y'all see that? Make sure your, your leads don't touch. And then here and here, we're going to apply the volts DC. All right, here go, to, here go your VDC generator. Let's turn it on. Again, five volts ain't enough to, 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 um, five volts ain't enough to do nothing. So let's bring it up. Watch that relay close. Y'all can hear the beep? Everybody can hear the beep? I'm going to turn it off now. And that's how you check a relay. Any questions? This is your relay right here. You know what I'm saying? It's just dark in my studio. I wish I could show y'all the numbers. I would have had the schematic for y'all. <clears throat> How we doing, y'all? Any questions about that? Did that make sense? All right, let's move on with the segment then. All right, let's remove this one. All right, we're going to do, we're going to read some comments and we're going to get into the main topic about building your confidence. Remove from the stream. All right, cool. All right, y'all. So, again, uh, that's another episode of Tool Talk. Again, you got to go on and get this VDC generator. Very important. It, it aids to isolate doubt if you have a situation where... Another demonstration. Let me show y'all something board and then we do fan motor. You know I'm not no artist, but they'll get it. Alright y'all, so this is about as simple as it can get. So here's your board and here's your fan motor, right? But it's a VDC circuit, right? This is it though. It's just a board sending VDC to that fan. And we get there and it's one of those Samsungs or those LGs that the fans take a little minute to kick on or you're not sure if it's the fan. You know, you, you're in doubt, you know. Again, it's a great tool to have because you can just apply VDC voltage directly. And once you do that, you isolate that. Now you rule that out of the picture. So again, invest in definitely one of these. And I think I beat that that school up. I gave it its due respect. All right, let's get into the main subject of tonight's show. And then we're going to go home, y'all. How y'all liking tonight's show? Everybody enjoying it? Uh, Two Talk is done. Tonight's episode is about how to build your confidence and how to get rid of the jitters. Let me pull up a manual or something that I want to show y'all. Bear with me, y'all. Uh, manual lips. I want to show y'all something real quick. Let's go. Manny Trois Ice Maker. Or oh, was it a Scotsman? I don't even remember. No. Oh, 
let's show the people the real one. So go to the service call. Bear with me. I'm pulling up the schematic on what I want to talk about tonight. For the for those who get the jitters, I'm gonna show you how I handle the jitters. So just bear with me and let me pull something up. I'm pulling something up on manual lips. Login. Almost done, y'all. My bad. Hotel. No, you know what? He sent me a text message with the model number. That's what he did. I'm almost done, y'all. Please, I, I beg y'all pardon. This is live, so you know I can't edit this out. All right, and then um, damn, I don't remember, man. I should have had that up too. Oh, my, this in the back. Um, Sam, 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 Sam. All right, let me write this model number down. Guys, I am so sorry. This is so unlike me. I'm normally on point. Okay, it's a man as well. Model number SPA160. 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 It's a man as well, right? Or Scotsman? That's a man as well. All right. Uh, technician's handbook. There you go. Right? No, that's not it. Guys, I'm so sorry. I promise you, I'm almost done. to just go all right guys i'm sorry i don't have the schematic with me but guys i want to talk about like uh how to build your confidence right like the jitters the quote unquote jitters you know when i got started in the game and i had the jitters i'm going to talk to you about like what happened with me um when i got started in appliance repair um like everybody, you know, I was very intimidated by these complex machines. You know, I, I'm going to somebody's house. You know, I'm I'm doing a diagnostic. I, if if I even knew how to properly do a diagnostic, and you know, I, I I you know, you get the jitters, man, because you never worked on this. You got this person standing over you. You got this person asking you, do you know what you're doing? You know, you you dropping screws. They're 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 at, they're looking at you like if you know what you're doing. So you know, you start to sweat. Your hands shake. I know all about the jitters. You know, and 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 I want to talk to you about how to get around the jitters. So I had a like I said a, a Manitowoc ice maker, right? And I was trying to pull up the the schematic here, and I actually have it on on which oh I have it. It's in my van. Damn it. One of my tablets, um, I pulled up the schematic on this Manitowoc ice maker, right? On manual lips, I was able to find it. And, you know, this, this um, manual, it talked about the ice maker. It spoke about the theory. It spoke about the components. It got into the disassembly. And it even had the schematics. So, you know, like... With with the jitters, they're 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 number one common. Everyone, no one is immune from them. Um, what you gotta do when you're in the customer's house is you gotta rely on what you learn on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? The the battle doesn't take place in the customer's house at the appliance. It takes place before you get there. It takes place on you. Like your your understanding on what you about to embark on, you about let let let's just like me for instance. I never worked on no Manitowoc commercial ice maker, but you could believe I'm gonna read all the theory on it, how the harvest cycle works, familiarize myself with it, 
I'm going to learn where the components are. And again, if, 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 if YouTube permitted it and I could hit pause in like the real life and I found that you guys will see like how proper documentation can make you feel more certain. But since I don't have that, I do have this. And I know I keep talking about this. And I know I keep bragging. And I know I, 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 I pound you out to death about this. But this right here, this right here is a good source of confidence. Why? Because, again, you got to know the theory. I'm never going to stop saying that. If we were in the business to repair this device, it's it's great that you could make a hundred thousand dollars repairing these. That's great. And some people, that's where they get off the bus and they just start trying to repair these things. They open them up. They if they know how to, they don't know what they're doing. They all over the road. They messing them up. It's important to understand theory. It's important to understand how these things work. And like, you know, I watched the I watched the interview with Rick, right? I think it was Rick. Yeah, it was Rick and Mrs. Ward. And shout out to both of them. And Rick said something in his interview. He said when he something about when he went to school. One of the final tests was they had to write a 250 word essay about how a washing machine starts from beginning to end. I'm I'm gonna ask y'all that. We this channel got four point something K subscribers. In those four point something, how many of y'all could really from start to finish describe? a washer theory in 250 words. What happens when you plug that washer in? What's the very first thing that happens? After that, how does it receive water to the inlet valve? What is the inlet valve? How does that um, pressure dome work? That air pressure switch? How does that uh, thermistor in that washer work? What does it do? How does that rotor, that stator, how, how will that work? You got to know the answers, champ. You got to know the answers before you go and, and tackle this. You got to know them. So one of the main things to give you confidence is understanding just the theory, the get them, the how it works. You know what I mean? Like how, how things work in tandem with one another. How does the agitator um, operate? What does the agitator do? So again, theory is a big way to build your confidence. So it's not the most sexy. It's not the most fun part of appliance repair. Everybody just wants to do hands-on and go get the bag. And that's cool, but you got to know why you touching what you touching. I'm going to say that one more time. You got to know why you touching what you touching. That's real talk. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know the theory. Another thing is the components. Let's stick with that washer scenario. How many of y'all can literally break a washer down? And this ain't me like trying to pick at nobody. It's just constructive criticism. For you to elevate your game if you're not there yet and if you're struggling with the jitters if you're struggling with confidence answer this question can you name me all of the components inside of a washer if i disassemble it and i started taking it apart can you wholeheartedly say that you know where every component is and then how do you test them so we got to learn the theory. How does it work? It fills. Once it fills, pressure switch satisfied. Agitator comes on. <laughs> Wash after that. Drain. Like how all that go hand to hand? You got to know all those components. So again, in theory, in tandem to the theory being the priority, 
components and the testing of components got to definitely be a priority. And that's going to give you confidence as well. Those two are going to give you massive confidence. I got two more. The third one, disassembly. A lot of times, you know, we, we get in front of a, a, we go into a customer's house, right? How many times has this happened to you? You arrive to a customer's house. They shake your hand. They walk you to their kitchen. And they say, this is what I got. And you ain't never seen that animal in your life. And you like, ooh. You got you to go with, with your theory. And you got to go with your components. But the disassembly is a mystery. You ain't never disassembled it before. That, the, the short answer to that is you can try YouTube. Websites like Appliance Parts Pros. You know, repair clinic, those websites that sell you parts and show you breakdowns on how to tear things apart, you could try that. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you're going to have to just start tearing things apart and remembering what you're doing. But I could promise you one thing. After you do that, the next time you run into that, it ain't going to be the same headache. You're going to remember, like, oh, I remember this. Boom, boom, boom. And then if you run into it yet a third and a fourth time, the people are going to say that when you're done, the people are going to come to you and say, that's it? You're finished? But in the back of your mind, you're going to remember them nights and days where you had some other customers standing over you saying, you need help? Do you know what you're doing? You've done this before? How long you been doing this? So again, with this assembly, this YouTube, you can, you know, work on your own appliances in the kitchen. If you live in a building or something, you can go talk to the super and ask them, like, hey, can I take apart the washers? They all throw away. You see stuff laying apart. You know, just start tearing stuff apart. But one of the big things to build your confidence is disassembly and assembly. If you know, if you look like you know how to tear things apart, customers leave you alone. You feel good, the customer feels good, and, and normally the repair goes good. All right, let's read one, let's read some comments here, y'all. Oh, we got a few comments. Bear with me, y'all. General Cool Appliances, bien. Buenas noches, consulte, como lo hace un noche, todo bien. Espero que tú y tu familia están bien. Live Electronics, what's good, bro? AMR. I appreciate what you and Rick do for everyone. Again, y'all, if y'all, please hit the like button for my brother Rick, man, and all he do for this channel, man. You know, I really appreciate him, man. Thank you. I'm very, I'm very humbled and, and, and honored to have him here. All right. What's good, Carlito and Greg? All right, so the last piece of confidence to remove the jitters is understanding schematics wiring diagrams go a long way because no matter what you're working on your car your whatever whatever as long as you understand the principles of electricity and electronics. You got input voltage coming in. 120, seven to 12 VDC, whatever the case is. And then you got output voltage. You got loads, you got circuits. Like if you if if you understand those terms, you can apply that to any anything across the board. And you're gonna have at least a fighting chance to do the repair. And that leads me to my sales, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't got no no quarrels um selling my 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 stuff, but it's real. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's 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 gonna give you that confidence and remove those jitters. A customer see you pull this out. You 
start getting to probing, and then you got a schematic in front of you, and you looking at the schematic, and you looking at the, they leave you alone. They leave you alone. But you got to know what you're doing. And you know what I'm saying? Um, it boils down to the fundamentals, guys. So to recap on the on on four um things that help remove the jitters. Number one, profound uh sound understanding of the appliance theory. The appliance theory. How does a dishwasher work? Start to finish all the sounds you should hear. If I Pop quiz. Somebody just put it in the comment section. If you arrive to a dishwasher, right? You close the door and you hear start. What what should be the first noises you hear? Somebody put that in the comment section. Another thing with theory, the, cu the customers, you don't know what they know. That's another thing. You don't know what the customers know. They have the same access you have. They could read up on this stuff prior to you getting here. They just don't feel comfortable with the disassembly. But they can read theory and all that. And here comes super super tech. Super tech show up, don't know, don't know left from right, and start spitting nonsense. The customer's gonna know. They're gonna read right through you. And then super tech gonna want to charge them 380 or something goofy like that, right? And don't even warn it. Don't even warn. I ain't got no problem with you charging that, but warrant it. That's what give us the black eye. That's why theory is important. All right. So that's that's number one. And then again, number two, component and component testing. You gotta know where every component is. As things progress, you're gonna run into new technology like dishwashers, or OWW. A turbidity sensor. Okay, new stuff that arises, whatever. But that's one component you gotta learn. At least you know that flow switch, that spray on, that heater element, that wiring harness, that sump, that drain motor. At least you know how all that worked, the, those door cables. Yeah, okay, you, you may have to learn one new component. Well, I never heard of that. But at least you understand how most a broad majority of the components, you understand how they work. And how do you test them? How do you test them? All right, number three, disassembly. Another way to get your confidence up is just disassemble. Look, when you knew you're going to arrive with a screwdriver, and you're going to do stuff like this. I'm telling you, because I did it. You're going to be shaking and all scared and trying to turn it. But when you're a pro, you're going to show up with your drill. You're going to look like a NASCAR. It comes with time. It comes with confidence. It takes time. Take your time. It's cool. You're going to get there. We all started like that. You got to crawl before you could walk. But practice on the disassembly. Get familiar with certain brands, how they take apart. I I ain't did every LG washer, or dishwasher, or fridge that came out, but once you do so many of them, you know already. Okay, this brand, they put the three screws in the back. You got to take the lid off, then the user interface off, then the door, then the boot. You, you kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, learn their patterns. So that's what I'm saying, disassembly. If you weak in that area, watch a lot of these YouTube videos on how to take things apart. Rick and I, we don't really tap into that market. It's other people doing that. And we ain't going to get into their, their avenue. But watch their stuff. Repair clinic, um, appliance parts pros, Sears parts direct um, has videos on disassembly. So watch a lot of disassembly. That'll give you, that'll help you remove the jitters. Like me, I'm watching nothing but Manitowoc Ice Maker um, disassembly videos. But guess what, guys? I promise you I'm going to fix this thing. I don't even know how, I never, but I, I just, I'm going to give it all I got. I know I'm going to do it. And I'm going to add that to my repertoire.
Uh, and then finally, the fourth most important thing, I think, I don't know, with theory or schematic, this could go either way, but the number four most important thing on how to build up your confidence to help remove the jitters, a profound and a sound understanding of wiring diagrams, how to read schematics, how to, uh, basic electricity, and you know, like 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 a vault reader, how to do that. You have those four elements, you definitely will will remove a lot of the jitters. If you don't, tonight's the time to to reflect, analyze yourself, you know, and tell yourself like, okay, these are some things I gotta work on. It's the weekend, you know, take your time. Like I said, it's, it's a lot of information out there. Come tap in with us, cmmacademics.com, you know what I'm saying? But there's many other websites, many other um, YouTube channels. There's many other sources of information, PSA, MSA, uh, SAMLA, well, everybody under the sun you can go to. Continue to learn, continue to learn. Basically, learning is earning without the L. I hope y'all caught that. All right, I'm going to read the final comments, and I'm tapping out for the night. I love y'all. Let's read the final comments. Hmm. All right, what's good? How much is the schematic training watching and viewing you guys from Texas? Oh, that's what's good. Texas in the building. Y'all know the vibes. TX, man. BX to TX. I love Texas, man. I drove through the whole state one time. Um, the schematic training. Let me see. That's a good question. It's late in the night. I'm a little tired. Let me pull up that uh website. Hold on. I'll tell you right now, brother. That is going to be uh hold on. All right, three ninety nine for the virtual. All right. Brother, that I don't think you're gonna spend a better three ninety nine in your life respectfully. You learn that, you learn the game. That's the greatest tool to have. And you can rewatch the video over, 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 over as many times as you want. And anytime we upload something in regards to that, you get exclusive content. All right. Hope that answers your question. All right. Will we have a good view? Oh, for sure, man. If not, you know, I'm going to reimburse the dudes. I did that last time, man. I had to reimburse like 12 people or 15. I don't know how many people I did. I definitely ain't going to make that mistake again. And this time it's me and Rick, you know. And we don't hash out the kinks. We confident about it. We're going to package it up and sell it anyway on the website a la carte. So if you can't tap in, the only thing you're going to miss is the actual chance to ask live questions. But if you miss it, it will be online a la carte for sale. All right. So we can go back and watch it. Yeah, for sure. That's for sure. All right. For sure. Y'all get y'all get y'all skills up. And again, not, not just the schematic though. This ain't a sales pitch. Theory. All right. Again, y'all theory, components, disassembly, schematic readings. Those is the four ways to remove the jitters. All right. Guys, I want to thank y'all for tonight's show. Let me go ahead and pass out the offering plate. Go ahead and fill up Brother B's cup of, uh, you know, Brother B, you know, running low on the uh, spirit If y'all have any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment. If not, uh, see y'all, uh, let me see, Friday, December 9th. I'll see y'all sometime next week, y'all. Let me, let me stand by on an announcement. But there I have it, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube, premiere, off the clock, appliance repair talk, for off the clock, appliance repair text. I'm your host with the most, signing out. Y'all have a good night. God bless.